Hey guys, it's Miranda here, Sunshine and Grace, and today we're going to make a very cute little project from my latest kit, Beautiful Blessings. It's an altered tea bag with a ticket inside, and this one also has a, no, it does not have the flower stuffed in it. There's the flower that was stuffed in it to go on the one we're going to make today, but um, it's an altered tea bag. These tea bags come in the kit. Print it when you print that page of ephemera. They print out like this. Very pretty. And we're gonna do this together. It's really, really simple though. You just make a couple folds and you got it. And the tag is on a there's a page of six tags. We're gonna use one of them to make a Pocket. We are not going to stamp on the one that we're going to do today. We're just going to ink it. But you could obviously stamp on it or do whatever you wanted. We may stick a sticker or something on there. And then we're going to put a little scraplet of something that I forgot to put in the kit. Here, I've been trying to put kits together. But, um, yeah. And this is normally would be my 3579, but today we are not doing 3579 because we are showcasing the project from the kit. And, well, I mean, I guess you could use three items, lace, bling, and a flower to go on it. That counts as bling. It's a little sticker, though, but we're going to use one of those, too. Um, but mostly it's kit items. So, we are going to get started and see how this goes. Okay, it is so easy. You take your tea bag, which is pre-printed, and you just... There is no hard and fast rule. I eyeball this. Get it to where I think it feels like it's in the right spot. Why is that one there? I kind of line it up. And then just see where it folds. That's usually about a good spot. Um, About a finger width. That's what that is. Y'all see that? That's about a finger length. Is a good judge. And then you just want to line your two edges up. Crease that little puppy. You can hear my dryer. I'm sorry. We're drying close. <laughs> and it's a little loud. And then for the top, you just come to right smack above where that line was, where you folded, where your top folded up, and fold it down. Just like a tea bag. Well, a giant. There you go. That is basically your thing done. Okay, all the hard parts are done now. Now we're going to ink this little puppy. I got my ink right here. It is Vintage Photo Distress Oxide. And I do believe I have most of these items linked that I use on the kit to do this project. I have most of them linked below in the description box. And you'll also find a link to the kit in my Etsy shop there, okay? That way if you want to get it, you can. The kit is... 26 pages, I believe, of backgrounds and ephemera. I think it was, it ended up being like 14 pages of the backgrounds and 12 of ephemera. And it's only $10, and y'all, that's a pretty good deal. Because you can print it out as many times as you want for your own personal use or to put in the printed items to use them in journals. You can't, you just can't sell them like, you know, digital by itself or just print them out and sell them as is without using them in projects. But as long as you use them in a project, you're all good. Um, and this is, I think, my favorite kit so far. I really do. I've had so much fun playing with it and just, yeah, I have fun designing it. I love designing them. It's just so much fun. It was so relaxing. I'd sit over there in the evenings in my chair. Cat would be on my lap, Miss Phoebe's. And we just design away. Now, I do ink this little fold because y'all know me. I like to see that. Like that. I guess I don't need to ink that one. Nobody's going to see it. I'll ink the outside. Okay. And there's our back. I want to ink this. With that beautiful, beautiful butterfly on the back of it. 
we're going to go ahead and ink our tag. Okay, what we're going to do is measure how big we want the tag to be. Um, we need to fold about a quarter of an inch up. You could cut it, but I like that little pocket in the back. So I'm just going to fold it like that. Line my sides up, barely straight. Hope for the rest. Yep, looks pretty good. All right, now we're going to ink the tag too. That way we just got all of our inking out of the way. We're inking like a nod. Or ink. Something blinking and nod. I don't remember. I remember I used to sing that song to Morgan when he was little, though. He's not so little anymore. He went to town by himself for the first time the other day to Lowe's, and I'm not kidding y'all. I was a nervous wreck the whole time he was gone. It was Sunday, and um, I was doing a Bible study online with one of my friends, and y'all, I ain't kidding you. I was a nervous wreck. My hands was a shaking I, because I, when I'm doing a Bible study or something, I focus better if I do something that's somewhat like, you know, you don't really think about it, but it keeps your hands busy. And sometimes I can write like I'm, you know, my hands working right to let me write. But most of the time it's like doing crazy things. So instead I will take scraps and do like um, scrap buster projects. And that's what I was doing then, was I was scrap busting like crazy. It was a good study, though. It was because of Angel, the Angels, and it was, I thought, very interesting. It was by um, one of my favorite teachers, Scott Mitchell. I listen to him quite often. He does a very good job of bringing, like, um, oh, I need to punch that thumb hole thing in my body. Okay, y'all have seen me do this before, but I sort of fold it, just pinch it where I know that the crease is going to be. You're not really going to see that since I'm cutting this piece out. And then I line that up with the center of my thing. I'm go about that deep. I'm hoping this thing will cut, but I may have to move it down into my lap. Get it. Yep, I'm gonna have to. I'm sorry. Oh, and it still won't cut. Yep, it kind of cut. It ripped, is what it did. Get stuck. I need to get a new one. You can see it kind of rips. So then I have to heavy ink that part because it looks a little wonky. Not super wonky, but I went deeper than that too. Eh, you won't really notice that now. All right. Run our bead of blue as close to the edge as you can get because you want to be able to get that tag in there. And if you don't want to cut the tag down like I had to do the first one, keep your glue line thin. The first one, I like to never got that puppy down in here. I am not kidding you. I fought with that thing for, I bet you, 15 minutes. I was getting so aggravated. I was about ready to just scrap the whole project. And I was like, no, I'm not because this is a cute project and I want to do it. So, about like that. And you can see that is a very, very thin line of glue right on the edge. Take and gently fold it up. Kind of let that glue grab on its own naturally. Don't do a lot of smushing just yet. And grab your other your tag and go ahead and put a thin layer of glue on the back of the flap of it and fold it up you don't have to be as careful on this because your thing that you stick in it won't be that big okay there's that now this. you just want that glue to be a little drier so it doesn't actually spread inward it just spreads to the edge and out Okay, now we're not going to touch this for another minute or two. I mean, we're not going to touch that part for another minute or two. And we are going to decorate our front. We have this beautiful shabby rose flower that I like to make. And I have a tutorial for those. I'll try to remember to link it below. Those are some of my favorites. 
that we're obsessed with them. We're going to use a little of this. That's pretty. A little of this because it's pretty. Boom. And I don't want quite that much. I don't think I want the yellow side of it. Okay. Let me grab my Beacon 3-in-1. And the other glue I'm using is Art Glitter Glue. And again, I link all of the products I use in the description box down below. That way, if y'all want to find them, you can. Um, it just links to my Etsy shop or scrapbook.com, one or the other. Wherever I can find them the cheapest, that video. Or I may link it in both. Um, so you have options. I know here lately, I'm all about getting them as cheap as possible, wherever possible, because it's getting hard to find things. <laughs> I want to put this right at the top. I think I'm going to rush that just a little. Probably should have thought of that before I laid a second layer of blue on it, but okay, what is? Okay, what if? Okay, yeah. Didn't do what I wanted, but it'll, it'll do. Okay, let's see if we can get this thing laid down and rushed a little bit. Not really, can we? No, okay. Let's just glue that puppy. And then we'll just sort of glue that down on top of it, but we'll cut it because it doesn't need to be near that long now. Okay. Clean that excess glue off of the edge. To get the, this is one of the reasons I like the beacon glue. To get it off, you just rub it a little bit and that stuff just comes right off. Luckily, because I'm constantly putting it where I don't want it. That. And then I want some bling bling. I might use a card or something in this. Maybe one of those. Yeah. I just want you. I made those a couple weeks ago. I think we did those in a video, didn't we? I'm pretty sure. They were fun. They were actually addictive. I have a whole stack of them now. Twenties, inches, you name it. I even got some of those round coin ones. It's like, after I did them, I'm like, I'm not going to use these. I mean, I will, but, you know, it's not something that I would normally do or choose to do. But I was like, man, those were fun. Okay. Get some bling. And pop it right there. And, okay, pop it right there. Ooh. I have a little sticky on my fingers. Put a little glue on this. I absolutely love these flowers, you guys. I need to, I, I need to make some more. I'm running low. They are, I have the video on how to make them, and I also sell them in my Etsy shop, and they sell out really, really quick because they're so cute and so simple to use. I just, okay. That is basically the tea bag done. Now we're going to reach and get some of those little circle thingamabobbers to cover that. Which one do I want? I need this green. These look pretty good. Okay. Because I don't really feel like punching and doing all the time and stuff. Right. Let's hope for the best. We try it before we even think about uh, putting anything in the back of it because we're probably going to end up cutting it. We're going to start though with this. Sometimes if I run that gent, no, see it's starting to rip it. Alright, a little extra glue there. And we'll just trim the edges on this. And I am no good at this, so I'm going to bust out the straight cutter. Because I really am not good at this. Alright. We're going to trim just a quarter of an inch. Whatever that is. Eighth, maybe. I call it a smidge. And then I'm going to do about the same on the other side. Another smidge. Looks pretty good. Maybe not exact. I hold 
have a look to see. So one ended up being just a tad bit more. So I want to take just a tad bit more of this side. Okay, that should be good. Or maybe it's not. Maybe I messed it up. Because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to start this free cut. Uh, now I really messed it up, y'all. I ain't going to have a tag left here in a second. Let me pop that thing off. Let me fold this in half. Yes, I like the tag the way it is. So, um, I can see how much of the top stuff. Because <laughs> I don't want to make it any skinnier. It's already skinny enough. Alright. Don't fall over there, whatever you do. Okay, now we got all that shaved off. We didn't need that stuff, did we? No, we never. We never. We never need those things. I only totally need them. It's okay. We'll make it look good anyway, won't we? Because that's what we do. We take little bluebirds and make them into happy little accidents. I sound like Bob Ross. <laughs> the happy little tree. I miss Bob Ross. I liked his stuff. When I was a kid, it was happy times. My son the other day was, um, well, it's been a while back, but he was like saying something about Bob Ross. I was like, do you know who Bob Ross is? And he's like, well, yeah. I'm like, that's kind of cool. I get excited when he actually knows about something that, you know, I know about. Okay, I'm going to put some glue on this now because I already stuck it down one side. Glue on that a little bit. It. I think those are so pretty. Dollar Tree, y'all. I can't link to those because that's literally the Dollar Tree. A buck for like a whole sheet of them. I don't guess we need this twenty anymore because it's not going to fit. A bit real quick because I saw it there and it looked good. We're going to take that little bit of blingy and run it right Or maybe not, because it won't stick. Let's try it up here, where I can get a little more glue going. And then once I get it on there, I'm just going to stick it down all the way. So, so it just stick to the thing and not to me. It'll be golden. Yeah. Stick there. Okay, I think I got it. Nope. I think I got it. I think I got I think I can. I think again I got it. Okay. Do we want to put this little sniffleet? Or the lace around here? Maybe. And this is called crafting on the fly because this was not part of the original plan. By any means. On the original one I stopped with just the tag. Let me see if I can find a word or something. Nope, too big. I put all of my uh, ephemera pieces into little envelopes I make out of book pages that are not book pages I would use to uh, put in a journal. They're like the, what I call crap book pages. You know, the like novels that you get like at the dollar store that, you know, nobody actually reads. But they've got good pages in them. Just not pages you want to use in anything. So, um, I tear the pages out and use them for things like this. Or if I'm going to make like ephemera where you're not really going to see the page below it, I'll use the pen. They're not, why don't I have a word in here? Let me grab a different box. I have like a dozen of these. I did manage to get most of my scraps used up Sunday. So that was something. It was an accomplishment. I was quite quite excited actually because I haven't managed to actually use all of the scraps in probably a year. I usually end up making more than I clean up. But 
I did pretty good. I didn't drag anything new out. And I didn't bust out the Cricut right afterwards either. A lot of times I do that. It's like, wait a minute. That was so pointless. Let's use the word peace. Okay, so I'm going to bust the Cricut out five minutes after I clean this mess up. There is no point in cleaning this mess up because I'm going to have a bigger mess when I get done. Alright, so let's rip. And let's rip. I like this paper. It's a very... I, I don't know. It's got an odd texture. A nice texture, but it's different. I don't know what, it, what kind of paper it was. It was just like, I don't know, something that I printed some words out on. And I had coffee dyed it a little bit, I believe. But see, it takes color so nice. And I'm almost out of it. There was only one sheet. Why I chose it to print on, I don't know. But I'm glad I did. I probably didn't know what I was getting. I was probably just like grabbing like a mad woman trying to find paper. That's what I do. Okay. That there. Oh, and I have got the little three-in-one glue bubble that I will use to my advantage. And then I'm going to put the lid back on before it does that again. I don't really like it when it does that. Okay, so we have the word peace, and mm, I don't think we need anything else on that. I think it looks good. Okay, there's the old one. Here's the new one. All right, let's take this, run it down in there, punch it around. Let's grab one of these. We're going to use this one. That is the yellow butterfly that was featured on the front. I don't know why I like these little washi pieces, y'all. But I do. And that is kind of printed on a pink paper. So you can kind of see it. And I said we were just going to lightly ink the background of it here. Just give it a little oomph. I don't think I had one of those pieces with the blue butterfly on it. Did I? Nope. No oh, well. Is good. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. And then we slide this little puppy down in here. Now she fits beautifully. Close it. Oh, I should have thought of that. Can I get this back off? Oh, yeah. Okay. Because that's the thing. You want this to be high enough that you can slide the flap up under the first flower. Petals there. Okay. So just repress it higher. Okay, there you go. New creature in Christ. This one is just a bird with a pretty thing in the back. And we slide that down in there. This one does not go as nicely. And we use the thing as a flare. What do you guys think? Like I say, this is all in the kit, other than the embellishments we put on the outside. But all the paper pieces were pieces from the kit, including the embellishment. The only thing that wasn't was the word piece. And the flower that we glued on. And the lace, of course. But, you know, that's kind of a given. Okay. What do you think? I am in love with these. And can't wait to make some more. Because I want a whole stash of them to go in my journals. Alright. I think that's about it, you guys. Before I go, though, I want to remind you that Jesus loves you so much he died for you. If you've not tested that fact, then I would urge you to do so today. Because nobody's promised the next second. And whether you know it or not, you're going to live forever, either upstairs or down. And you want to go up, okay? Just take my word for it. So if you've not trusted the gospel of your salvation, then I'd love to tell you about my precious Savior, tell you the greatest love story ever, and get you settled for all eternity right now. So just drop a comment below, or you can look me up on Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. Um, there's links in the description box below. If you are not a subscriber, I would love to have you join us here on Sunshine and Grace. I put out two, three, sometimes more than that videos a week. Um, just making simple projects that are either showing you how to use um, the digital kits that I make or um, just simple stash buster projects. And all of my projects are very, very simple that even beginners can do. Um, I figure we all can get the, you know, once we get those basic ideas down, we can run with them pretty easy. I mean, we kind of take off from there. 
So I like to sort of do simpler things. Not They're not simple by any means. I mean, this is a look simple. It's very, very, very pretty, and it's a very big pop in your journal. But it's very, it uses items that most of us already have. So we don't have to have a lot of stuff to put in our stash. And that's actually one of the reasons that I like digital kits. It's because for a very small amount of money, you can get a kit that's got a lot in it. Like I said, my kits have usually anywhere from 5 to 10, sometimes even 12 or 15 background pages that can be used in a variety of ways. And then they have multiple ephemera pages that are pieces that you just cut out and go like some of these. Like I have the um, stamps, I have journaling cards. I can't get them all out now. We've seen tags. All that is already in there. You just cut it and go. And it's that way for pretty much any of the digital kits you get. And you can print as many copies as you need. A lot of times I may only use one, some pages once or twice. And there's other pages. I will print those puppies out a dozen times. Use them over and over. And for the price, you can't buy scrapbook paper for that. You can't buy printed paper for that at the uh, hobby stores and stuff. So um, I try to stick to stuff that's going to be a good economic value for you. And I do link um, as an affiliate to am certain products on Amazon, um, but they're the products that I use. So, so, yeah, I mean, I get like a few pennies per sale or something, but that's not the point. That's not the reason I do it. I do it so that you can have the products that you will use, you know, that or that I do use because I do get asked from time to time, oh, what was that you used? Or how do you get that to stick? Or I'm going to tell you straight up what I'm using. And that way you don't have to do the trial and error that I've done finding the right products. So, um, with that, I'm going to remind y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to say y'all have a great day and we'll chat soon. Grace and peace. Bye-bye.